Welcome to Anchored. We began a new sermon series this week entitled Centered. Often when we hear the word centered, we think about something being placed or situated in the center or middle, kind of like the Tootsie Roll in the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. As the wise old owl asked in that famous 70s TV commercial, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Hashtag 364. But another definition for centered is having a specified subject as the focal element. For believers, Jesus is the specified subject who desires to become our focal element. But how does that even happen? Well, for one, it is for us to abide in him. As we abide in Jesus, we get to experience life as God truly intended. Sinclair Ferguson said, quote, Abiding in Christ means allowing his word to fill our minds, direct our wills, and transform our affections, end quote. To abide is a verb. It is not a passive motion, but one that is active and intentional. It is not a feeling or belief that we hold, but something we actually do. The Greek word is mano, and according to blueletterbible.org, abide means to dwell, remain, be present, and to be held and kept. This kind of abiding reflects not just intentionality, but our posture and place. We are to be held and kept, and that indicates a closeness and intimacy. This idea forces us to examine where we are in proximity to Christ. How present are we when he is near? Do we submit our mind, heart, and will to him, or move away in our own strength in an effort to control things on our own? When we allow Jesus through the Holy Spirit to fill our minds, direct our wills, and transform our affections, the focus remains on him, not us. This is what he will do in and through us as we dwell with him. This was a concept that Jesus preached to the disciples. In John 15, Jesus began to lay out the blueprint for what was to come for himself and for the disciples. As he taught, Jesus mentioned the word abide 10 times in the first 11 verses of John 15. This was clearly important. Verse 4 nails it home. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Jesus has already done the heavy lifting for us. He just needs us to abide in him. One, two, three, four.